home from work. Guess it's time for another studio update. So the last time we talked, I was trying to turn this blue air pup uh, seam pattern into a new one. And uh, let's look at some of the progress that was made. I got to a complete seam pattern for uh, the orange air pup. I started making pieces of paper that let me play around with different ways to attach and fold the seams. Then I set up my sewing machine for edge binding. I used this uh, tape dispenser to roll out bias tape um, for the edge and a uh, little attachment for, for edge binding. And I cut out patches on a Cameo uh, drag knife cutter. And then I put the panels together using, um, this is double sided tape that, that held some of the, the different materials together. And then when they're the same material, I could use this cool tool um, that I made that I learned about in Kite A Magazine, which is just a soldering iron with um, a little um, spring from a pen. And so you can put it down on your material and just tap the end and leave a little dab of heat sealing. And that lets me uh, put my panels together. All right, so this is uh, one half of the pattern. And I managed to add these new patches, new pockets, and these little winglets with uh, these cool snap-in connectors I got from Prism Kites. So these just stick in like that. And uh, this bias tape edge seam works out really well. Holds them in place um, with a little reinforcement patch on the back. And um, got a new way to put the pocket, this to put the spar into the back pocket. So there's a little break in the seam, and the seam continues in the back. Let's me stick the stick in and slide it in like that. If this was cut to size, I could pinch it into the back. Let's talk about a few things that didn't work. First of all, I'd gotten this cool uh, hemming foot for doing rolled hems. I couldn't for the life of me figure out how to use this thing. I watched a bunch of YouTube videos. Uh, I read a bunch of instructionals. Um, I'm just not a skilled enough sewer to make consistent rolled hems. Um, but the binding, the binding edges worked out great. So my goal for this next week is to put together the full scale pattern probably take me a little bit over a week to finish sewing um, the whole thing and uh, gluing it on to the air pup pattern, uh, air pup balloon, excuse me. So based on that folding diagram, I can use these full scale patterns that I cut um, of the different panels and start assembling a full size air pup with uh, all the new materials. So let's talk some new stuff. I'm going to try a few new things. I'm currently using this uh, HH66 vinyl cement. This stuff is really gnarly and has uh, acetone, MEK, and toluene fumes. I wear uh, breathing protection and work outside with this glue, but I don't like it. And so I'm going to try something else which is slightly better. It just is toluene instead of MEK. It's uh, this <laughs> Aqua Seal. Um, so I'm going to do a little test patch of this as well. See how it compares to the vinyl cement I normally use. Um, other than that, it's going to be pretty straightforward. I just need to cut my panels with um, my hot knife. I just used my Weller soldering, machine, soldering iron with uh, an old tip. Um, tried some other cutting knives. I have a Clover cutting knife and other hot knives, but the Weller iron works the best. 
So this time next week, or a little after this time next week, hoping to have a full-scale orange air pup and I can go fly it and check that everything worked out and start working on the production run.